Welcome to the channel. I'm Tom, this is my table, and on my table today is my brother's PC, which has seen much better days. It's pretty damn dusty. So today we're gonna to be giving it a good clean. It's gonna take about 15, 20 minutes, and this is the type of clean that I give my PC, and yeah, sometimes my brother's PC, uh, every six months or so. That's mainly uh, just for dust and to replace the thermal paste. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. And um, it's pretty easy. You only need a couple of things. So all I've got today is some isopropyl alcohol, and that's basically to take off the thermal paste off the CPU. If you can't get this, and if you just have the wipes, you can use that, but getting a big bottle like this is just a lot more cost efficient, basically. Um, but in the past, when I haven't had this or I've run out, I've actually been able to use just normal spirit, like vodka or whiskey. You can get away with it and it will still do the job. Just be a bit more careful because it doesn't evaporate as fast as 99% alcohol. I've also got some cotton buds, a screwdriver, a couple tissues, some thermal paste, a lightly, very lightly damp cloth. And finally, I have this electric duster, which, um, yeah, I like to use. It could be a little bit controversial. I mean, you could use compressed air and compressed air is all right, but with compressed air, it does not last that long really, to be honest. Um, it tends to run out quite quickly. It is quite powerful and does get the job done, but you just end up with dust flying all over the place. So you really have to do it outside. And also if you're not holding it exactly straight, then you just end up with the liquid coming out. And obviously it doesn't, it's not good for your components, is it? So if you do use compressed air and you are using it like tilted or upside down, which it definitely won't work upside down, and you do spray, for example, like your motherboard or near your CPU, it is gonna throw out a liquid at it and then you're gonna have to dry it and possibly just leave it overnight or a week and make sure it's completely dried out before you try turning it back on. But you can use compressed air. I would just say if you're using it, maybe just use it on the fans, um, maybe take them out of the case and just use it like that. I used compressed air for quite a while and then I just ended up going with the electric duster and it made the process so much quicker. It turned like cleaning the PC into like 40 minutes to 15. It's really, really easy. Now, the reason I said this might be a little bit controversial is just because with uh, the electric dusters, if you do live in a dry climate that is prone to, um, what am I looking for? Prone to? Fizzy, that's what's going through my head, fizzy. Fizziness. Static, that's what I'm looking for, static. If you do live in a dry environment that is prone to static, then something like an electric duster should be all right, just because it is quite small, but I wouldn't recommend using something like a vacuum cleaner because it is quite powerful, and that probably will generate quite a lot of, I forgot the static, almost forgot the word again, see static. Static, that's what I'm looking for, static static electricity. So yeah, it can build up a lot of static electricity, but here in the UK, it's absolutely fine. We, we, don't, we don't have a dry climate, so um, yeah, it's fine. And also on that sort of dry climate static thing, um, you could also wear a anti-static wristband. Um, you could be doing this on an anti-static mat, and you could also be barefoot or wearing rubber-soled slippers or shoes. And that will also just help with the static nature of things. But again, here in the UK, I literally don't need to do any of that. The only thing I'd always recommend doing is when you have unplugged your PC, do make sure it's unplugged. Um, take all the peripherals out. And then all you do is just hold down on the power button for a good like five seconds, something like that. And that will just make sure that any sort of electricity sort of left in the loop is gonna just be expended basically. So if you don't have access to any compressed air or an electric duster like this one, then what you could do if you do have isopropyl alcohol is you can just wet some tissues and literally just start wiping down the computer with it. It's, it's all all right, it won't do anything to the, uh, to the case itself. Uh, just don't go over, for example, if you've got any LCD panels um, in your PC, don't go over that because it can destroy the coating on the, on the panel, basically. So the order we're gonna clean this in, we're gonna clean the outside first, just so that we're getting all the dust off and we're not gonna end up just touching it with our hands and then touching the components inside. Once we've just gone over the outside, we're gonna take out the graphics card and the CPU cooler, and that's just gonna give us easier access to the motherboard and then the inside of the case. And then it's completely up to you it will save you time if you leave the fans in, but if you do want to remove the fans, you can get it obviously a lot better clean with them. I'm not going to today because with the bristles on this electric uh, cleaner, it's, um, it, it's pretty easy to get in between there and clean the fans. But if you are quite OCD with it, you can go in there with um, the cotton buds, some isopropyl alcohol, and really, really give it a really good clean. 
But yeah, today's a bit more of a quick clean. So um, that's how it's gonna go and let's get into it. Right then, so after you finish that main clean, you're gonna take that ever so slightly damp cloth and then just run around the outside of the PC with it. And that will just finish it off nicely. You can also take the dust filter off and do it under there. And uh, yeah, then you just get your side panel, your glass side panel, which I'm gonna guess most of you have now and uh, clean it on the inside, clean it on the outside give it a nice dry and it will look uh, look great. But that's gonna be all from me and I'll leave you with some nice shots of what it looks like now. Bye.